Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Arcane, along with Matty O'Neill for an abbreviated edition of yes. Live at Four. I mean, a little technical problems around here, but okay. uh, Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve. It's because it's my first time here. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> nothing to do with it. <laughs> Susan's on vacation this week, so again, thanks for tuning in. And you know, all eyes on the weather as a lot of people are traveling. Dana's here with that. Dana, are you there? <laughs> Dana I mean, the, is here. There Dana's she is. just a little chilly right now, that's all. So I have to admit, although today was nice and sunny, it was a little cold outside. And of course, in our weather office, it's, it's almost always cold. But Gary Canalti likes it that way, so I'm not going to complain at all. Looking ahead through the rest of the evening, if you do have any Christmas Eve plans that may or may not be outside for a little bit, it's really going to be quite pleasant for us. We had a mostly sunny sky today for the next few hours. We are going to stay mostly clear. As we head overnight, our skies are going to steadily become mostly cloudy so those cloudy skies will stay with us through the rest of the week and then as we get to the middle of the week our next big system is going to rumble in and that system is going to bring us an alert day that we've added into our forecast looking at our Doppler track right now throughout Wisconsin we've had a very calm day our visible cloud track also showing a great picture no threats for any sort of flurries for this evening or up until we get close to midnight tonight and then we are going to have a little bit of a flurry chance as we head into early Christmas morning. So that's the good news for anyone who is hoping to see a few snowflakes for us on Christmas. We have these fronts just separated over the state. One will kind of lift north a little, pushing a little bit of moisture towards us. That short wave sliding on through is really going to help us uh, get that flurry chance heading into Christmas Day. So barely a few clouds in the sky right now. As we head overnight, our skies will steadily become partly and then mostly cloudy overnight temperatures will drop into the low 20s. Now notice that flurry chance coming in for us right around midnight and then throughout the evening or out throughout the early morning we are going to have some light snow and flurry chances. The question mark comes later in the afternoon if there is still just a linger a bit of lingering moisture for us uh, for Christmas Day. Temperatures could be rising just a little over freezing so we may have some spotty freezing drizzle for us for Christmas Day. As we head into Wednesday morning we have a mostly cloudy sky late Later in the evening on Wednesday, our next big system is going to slide on through. But notice throughout the day on Wednesday, if you have any returns you need to make or if you have any travel plans for Wednesday to get back home before work on Thursday, the day should be just fine. But later in the evening is when our moisture is going to come in. As far as temperatures through Christmas Day, actually expecting a, a really nice day for us. 25 to start off the morning right around 7 o'clock. Throughout the day, it'll be cloudy, but our temps are going to climb to the mid to upper 30s for afternoon highs for us. So again, any lingering moisture will be flirting right along that rain to freezing drizzle line. Getting into Wednesday night, our next system is going to bring a lot of rain and freezing drizzle and snowfall throughout the Midwest. This is a really big system. Unfortunately, it is going to cause some travel problems for the middle of the week. That rain starts to enter in overnight, but notice around midnight that freezing rain line is dipping through central and southern Wisconsin. So overnight and early morning Thursday travel plans it could be a little messy for us. Further north, we're talking about snowfall into early Thursday morning. These showers are expected to continue throughout the day on Thursday and potentially transition back into some freezing rainfall for us Thursday night into Friday. Small chance for that, but as we get through Friday, we go from rain to freezing rain and then right into light snowfall for us throughout the day on Friday. Not expecting that to add up too much, but light snowfall definitely the theme throughout the day on Friday. Because of the travel concerns for Wednesday night with a lot of folks trying to get back for work on Thursday, we do have an alert day that we've added to the forecast. Light snowfall and freezing rain, the real concern there, and that best chance, of course, for the mix is north of Madison. As you saw that line just barely dropping down into Madison in the southern Wisconsin line. Holiday travel for this evening just fine. Heading into tomorrow morning, the only minor travel delays is the light flurry chances that we could have. Of course, any moisture on the roads, not exactly in an ideal situation. So just a little bit of moisture early in the morning could slow down traffic a little bit if you have early Christmas morning plans. Of course, Santa should be all through by then, so we're not expecting any delays for him. As we get into Wednesday afternoon, we are still good throughout Wisconsin and Illinois, but you can see that major system sliding through the delays it's going to cause, cause throughout the plains and into much of the Midwest. Those delays, of course, just shifting along with the system, so we'll start to see those delays entering into the Madison area, much of Wisconsin, late Wednesday throughout the day on Thursday and even into Friday. Right now we're at 29 degrees in Madison, 30 in Janesville. It is just 
a little breezy outside, but it's a light breeze, which is good news. That means our wind chill isn't too much of a factor for your evening plans. Uh, our wind speeds light and variable from the south currently outside. Again, we had a nice clear sky today, but the clouds are building back in and our temperatures are going to steadily fall over the next several hours. Now today we did hit a high. It was uh, just a little bit above average, close to 30 for us this afternoon. Our overnight lows back into the teens, about 18 degrees to start off the day. Overnight, we're looking at another cool evening, but not nearly as cold. We'll drop close to 23 to start off Christmas Day with that flurry chance coming in late in the night. So early tomorrow morning, 38 are high for Christmas Day with some light snow and flurries possible. Our wind speeds going to stay anywhere from 5 to 10 miles per hour, so it won't be too gusty for us on Christmas Day. And that's, of course, always good news if we can keep things overall fairly quiet. And the upper 30s for both Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday, we're looking at a cloudy sky throughout the course of the day. And then we are, of course, going to have that system come through as we head into Thursday. So that's why that alert day, of course, is still in the forecast for our Wednesday night and into Thursday. I did, of course, want to bring up a quick traffic alert for us on the roads. There's a lot of travel going on for our Christmas Eve, but we see Quite a bit of green, which is good news. Looking a little closer to 12 and where it matches up with 39 and 90. Not seeing any delays for us. All the way up uh, the belt line, a lot of green. Usually that's not the case, of course, on a Monday right before 5 o'clock. Uh, green is not the color of choice, but things are looking good in Verona as well. So in my department, guys, uh, weather and traffic seem to be quite quiet for Christmas Eve. We like that. That's yes. a good word to hear for holiday traffic. <laughs> it is, yeah. definitely. And, and you're dressed up like a, a Christmas present. That's what I was trying to go for on this. The, the green screen, admittedly, I messed up. There's some, <laughs> some green on my dress, if you were wondering. It, it, thank you. It didn't patch up so well. Um, but I tried to be a little festive. You are certainly <laughs> festive. And speaking of festive, Dr. Zorba Pastor is here as well. Yes. He'll be taking your phone calls. If you have any medical questions, 270-9933. 270-9933 three the number to call what are we going to talk about today Zara? we're going to talk about it's better to give than to receive that's good perfect advice time of year for that yeah. perfect right. okay <laughs> we'll be right back stay with us
Welcome back. Dr. Zorba Pastor is here taking your calls at 270-9933. Hat and all. It's also National Eggnog Day. Yes, yes. You know and, and as we know, eggnog is one of the healthiest things you can possibly <laughs> drink on Christmas. I think it has a thousand calories per glass. No, it doesn't have that much, but it has a lot. But look at this eggnog. This is, this is almond yeah. nog. Almond nog, and it's got 50 calories for every one half cup. So that's really, that's probably about a third about of what regular eggnog is. And it's a non-dairy. I don't see any brandy in there with, with the eggnog. I was going to ask, That's what does that do to the health, <laughs> health effects? We the <laughs> there we go. The brandy cuts the calories. So it probably what? has less calories than eggnog. That's How right. does it smell? It smells like eggnog. Does, see, does it taste like Let's eggnog? See. I don't do you want it? I don't want to taste it. <laughs> it Here, I'll taste it. Well. All right. I'll, I'll let you be though. He's a doctor. I'll taste a doctor. Uh, not no, nearly as no, good as no. eggnog, you know what it is. So not a commercial. It's like nog. it's like tofu turkey oh, yeah. on Thanksgiving. Let's have some tofu instead of turkey. And I didn't, I didn't. It, it, it's not gonna it's not gonna kill you to have a real eggnog a, a glass not tonight. At all. And you know that's the whole thing about calories. You know we just got my wife uh, Penny and I just got back recently from France and from uh, Spain and unfortunately we had to eat when we were there and eat the delicious <laughs> food that was there. And if you look at the French, they eat delicious food in smaller amounts and. That's really the issue. The issue really is thinking about that. Not during Christmas, not during the days after Christmas, but after the first of the year, that's the time to start looking to take off our winter weight. And it's really calories, calories, calories. And, and Spanish food is Mediterranean diet. I mean, right. And the I med love, diet I, I is love the, the best I love diet. Spanish food it is, Spain. It is absolutely the best diet. And a study after study has shown that if you follow a Mediterranean diet, it really makes a difference in your health and wellness. And the it thing really about eggnog matter. is it's not like you're drinking it every day. It's, it's no, a that's exactly thing. it. And also, it makes you feel good because it reminds you of Christmas mm -hmm. and of your times of celebrating with your family. And I think there's really something about that. It's really a time of celebration and traditions. Yeah. And eggnog is part of the tradition for many of us. Two seven zero nine nine three three, the number to call. Interesting study that people feel better giving, giving than receiving. So this was the study. The study came out in the American Psychiatric Association Journal, and it was looking at students who were given money, and they were told, you're given a certain amount of money, you're given a certain number of dollars every day at the same time of day, we want you to spend $20 on yourself, or we want you to give $20 away. And then they looked at how they felt after day one, day two, and so on, and they did it for a few weeks, and what they discovered was that over time, the kids who got $20 a day it didn't mean as much after four or five days. Hmm. It was like, oh, I've got another $20 and I'm spending it. And so the joy of spending it on yourself tended to decrease. Whereas if you gave the $20 to somebody else on the street, homeless person, given to a charity, it seemed to be the exact opposite. The joy seemed to stay there all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think during this time when we're opening up gifts and, and giving gifts to others, it's time to realize that giving to other people and giving to other places really makes us feel better and it really helps us and it helps our society. Very interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah. Also, low-dose aspirin, there's been some, yes, a lot of discussion. Yes, one yes. of the big stories this past year. Yes, one of the great big stories. So for years we've been saying, if you have not had a heart attack, you should take aspirin to prevent from having a heart attack. We basically were putting everyone on heart attacks. And the latest data shows for primary prevention, that means you've not had a heart attack, you want to keep from getting a heart attack in the first place. Aspirin is worthless, except in a small group of people. So in other words, to generally say you should take an aspirin tablet all the time to prevent a heart attack is really not going to be useful. Now there are exceptions. People have very high cholesterol, people perhaps who have a family history. But, and to prevent a heart attack, if you've had one in the first place, that is very important. But just taking aspirin every day to prevent a heart attack doesn't do it. It's the Mediterranean diet, it's exercise every day, it's finding joy in your life, social relationships, those really make a difference. But the tablet doesn't do it. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We've got some calls coming in. We have to clear those first. So 270-9933 is the number to call, and we'll be right back.
Dr. Zorba Pastors here <laughs> taking your calls at 270-9933. Let's go to Betty. Hi, Betty. Are you there? Yes, I am. Um, I was just wondering. Hello? Yes? Uh, I'm not hearing Betty. She's... Hello? Can't hear my you. Okay, we can't hear the phones. So <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. What's your question? Okay, um, I was just wondering about hydration issues. Recently, I saw a show on so. TV, and it had, <laughs> had um, um, that we really aren't dehydrated, and we don't need to be hauling around water because it was just started by the bottled water and Gatorade industries, and now we've become not addicted, but so used to it that you see everyone hauling their bottle around. <laughs> So, Just wondering yeah. what your opinion is. Oh, so do you need to drink that much water? People do ho have those big jugs where you, you know, sure. you have so the lines, think how that. much water So you first drink. of all, who invented eight glasses of water a day? Yeah. No right. one knows exactly who invented it. But some theorized that it had to do with old Kellogg, who invented Kellogg cornflakes and thought that was really the, basically the food that you should have, the health food back in the 1900s. The reality is the way to really determine how much water you drink, for most of us, you drink until your urine churn is not concentrated, and that, and you figure out how much that is, and that's how much you drink a day. So generally, it's about six to eight glasses, but there's no absolute rule for that. Some people are on diuretics and have to drink more than that. Now, as for bottled water, of course, the bottled water industry wants you to think that you should even drink water mm -hmm. more and more and more, and of course, that really is an issue because they're trying to sell water. Think about it. They're <laughs> selling us water and saying it's better. I mean... I th think that, that was Betty's point, is that, you <laughs> yeah. know... It's a, I think that is Betty's point. Yeah, right, right. That's exactly right. You know, but the reality is, we often think of ourselves as drinking a lot of water, but really about six glasses is fine. And as people ask me, does coffee count as water? And the answer is yes. It's any liquid you have at all that matters. All right. Well, drink up. Yes. Water. <laughs> Not eggnog. Mm -hmm. Happy, Happy holidays, Happy holidays to you. Thanks for being with us today. It's my pleasure. And we'll be right back.